cases when the stock is too expensive to buy back. By and large, we feel, perhaps unjustifiably, but so far justified, that we can create more than a dollar of present value by investing. Sometimes if the stock is cheap, we can create more than a dollar of present value by simply repurchasing shares. But even if that option isn't available, we feel that, that by every dollar we retain, we can overall we can, we can turn that into a greater than a dollar of present value. And for 47 years, that's, that's worked. I mean, we, we have, every dollar retained is turned into more than a dollar of value. So if somebody wanted to create their own income stream out of it, they were much better off selling a little bit of stock every year than they were by getting a dividend out of it. They would have more money working per share in Berkshire if they sold off 2% of their holdings than if, we, than if we actually paid them out a 2% dividend. So the math has been compelling to this point. Now the question is whether we can keep doing that in the future. But so far, at any point in our history, if we'd, if we'd paid out dividends, and I paid out 10 cents a share back in the 1960s, which was a big mistake. But if, if, if we, uh, we won't repeat that. If, if, uh, if we'd paid out, if we paid out dividends, our shareholders' net would be worth less money than they are by having left it in. And I think that will continue to be the case, but, but who knows? Charlie? Well, I think the dividends will come in due course because eventually we'll, we'll find it difficult to multiply the rabbits. But we hope that that evil day is delayed. And even events of the last few years are encouraging in that respect. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, Particularly encouraging. Yeah. Yeah, I would feel better about, well, I, the last few years have been better than we anticipated in terms of being able to put money to work in ways that we think we're creating more than a dollar of present value at the time we did it. You know, mid-America may have very unusual opportunities in the next 10 or 15 years to employ an enormous amount of capital at a very reasonable return. Yeah, we have some perhaps a hundred billion. A, what? Perhaps a hundred billion. Perhaps a hundred billion dollars, yeah. and and you can see why that doesn't make us too excited about dividends. We'll think about it when we're older. <laughs> a lot older. <laughs> you want?